Hi, my name is Abbeth Russell. I'm an artist based out of Portland, Maine. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to be talking to you about doing additive and reductive drawings with charcoal. So I used to have this idea that an eraser was kind of a negative tool for taking away mistakes that you've made in your drawings. But actually, an eraser is just as much of a drawing tool as a piece of charcoal. So take a piece of your soft vine charcoal and just cover a whole sheet of paper with it. Make sure when you're doing this that you're turning the piece of charcoal on its side, otherwise it's going to take a really long time. All right, once you've covered the whole page, you can use your hand a little bit if you want to move the charcoal around and make it a little bit more even so that there's no strong areas of white peeking through. Okay, now you can take your gummy eraser and just play around with drying into the charcoal by actually taking away the charcoal with your eraser. You can mold your gummy eraser into any shaped tool that you want it to be. You can give it a point, like a pencil, or you can make it broad and flat and use it like a paintbrush. So right now you're not worrying about drawing anything representational or specific or having some idea behind what you're drawing. This drawing is not to show to anyone, it's just for you to experiment with these tools. This is more like a chemistry lab than a work of art. So once you've played around a bit with your gummy eraser, you can try out using your um, rubber eraser and notice that that can remove more of the charcoal and make brighter whites on the page. So when you're drawing with your eraser, you can, if you get bored of that, you can go back and draw it into the drawing again with a piece of charcoal and really just work back and forth between the darkness of the charcoal and the lightness that the eraser creates. It's almost like you have two paint colors that you're just pushing and pulling back and forth on the page. The eraser to give highlights and areas of lightness and the charcoal to create darkness or shadows. So make a whole bunch of these drawings, just experiment with the contrast of these two materials. My name is Abbeth Russell. Thank you for listening.